Before we start today's video, I do want to share with you something I recently got the chance to check out. And real quick, I just want to mention that I get the chance to look at and review quite a few things here on the channel. And honestly, I ignore or completely decline quite a few things. I could actually probably put together an entire video about the things that I decline to review. But every so often, it does happen that I get an email with something that really makes me go, oof. I really want to check that out. Introducing the Narwhal T10, the world's first self-cleaning robot mop and vacuum. Yeah, are you are you seeing what I mean yet? I mean, come on. It's a robot that cleans and self-cleans. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this was my first cleaning robot period. I've never had a cleaning robot before, so I was extremely excited to test this thing out, and I found it very easy to set up using the Narwhal app. All I had to do was charge the unit up, connect it through my Wi-Fi and the app. Then the robot actually just went to work. It actually mapped out the entire room by itself. I didn't have to do anything but clear the room of major obstacles, and really, the Narwhal did all the work. No installing of sensors or setting up barriers or anything like that it mapped out everything all on its own from there I could set it to clean on a schedule or pretty much whenever I needed it to pick up the slack for me while I did the other million things I do in a day switching it from vacuuming to mopping is also super quick with the magnetic attachments it's actually much easier than I thought it was gonna be they literally just swap in and out with magnets it's so freaking easy I really did also like the mopping feature too. it, it didn't just throw water everywhere it actually cleaned my floor nicely and overall I'd have to to say for my first experience with a cleaning robot this has been pretty awesome to have and use and I'm very glad I decided to respond to this particular email I've already actually recommended it to some friends including a content creator friend of mine here on YouTube so you you just might see this pop up on some other channels but if you would like to check this out for yourself a link will be in the description for you guys to check it out and I would like to extend a very special thank you over to the folks at Narwhal for sending this over for me to check out now though on to today's episode. What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the new updated Ascend from Blue Mon. We got updated everything going on here today. We got updated formula, updated packaging, and as usual, I have all the updated details you need to know if you're considering checking out this updated product. <laughs> All right, so let's start by looking at the most obvious update to this product, and that's the packaging here. Here is actually the old one. This was in a pump bottle. This is one that we've seen a few times here. The new one is in a squeeze bottle, which I'm assuming is due to the pump bottle getting clogged. I don't know for sure if that's actually it. No one's told me anything like that. That's not usually stuff that brands usually uh, fill me in on, but I think this is the most likely reason for the change. The bottle itself looks pretty much exactly the same as the pump did. It's got even the same artwork, color scheme. It's also even the same size as the previous bottle. I mean, as far as looks go, it is the same thing other than the method of delivery being that squeeze bottle, which I can tell you works perfectly and completely as expected. Moving over to ingredients though, and, and the formula, the folks at Bloomon actually told me that they didn't really think that there was any real performance changes to the formula. They did mention that there was heat protectant added to the new one. So that that's there if you're someone who believes that heat protectant is needed you can now get that in the new formula but when I compared the formula list from the old one to the new one I saw that there was quite a few changes there there's actually less ingredients in the new one for starters so I think that that does make it easier to look at it as a whole from a formula standpoint it looks like between the two they dropped some ingredients and then just moved some around and in case you didn't know this before these ingredients lists are supposed to be written from most to least. So in this case, water is the highest ingredient used there. So there's more water than anything else in the formula. So it's listed first. And when we look at the ingredients list through that lens, through the, list of, through the lens of most to least, we can see that some things got moved around like the glycerin, for example. It looks like it was reduced a bit. While glycerol stearate, on the other hand, looks like it was increased, which is not harmful at all. Glycerol stearate, in case you didn't know, is actually just, I believe, glycerin and stearic acid. It's used for a couple of different things emulsion being the main one or combining oil and water I think it also uh, if my memory serves me right I think I think it can also be used as like a lubricant of sorts making things soft or smooth which if that's what it's being used for here 
would make obvious sense being, you know, as it's kind of uh, a, a softener and uh, kind of a nourishing pre-styler, things like that. So I do think that kind of makes sense. But overall, it looks like they trimmed the formula of a few things, which I think does warrant a full new test, even though the brand did tell me that there wasn't much of a difference there performance wise, which I think still is a possibility. It's absolutely possible that they just kind of trimmed the fat, so to speak, on the formula and it still performs right around the same. But being as there was a handful of changes and when I looked closer at the cream itself and actually got it into my hands and moved it around a bit I feel like it does have a bit more tack to it I've got the old one you know obviously here to compare it to and in my hands the new one is less shiny and a bit more tacky I have to say I also got super distracted for like seven straight minutes making these little spider-man fibers in my hands with the new stuff so you know there's that all in all here I think that there is a good helping of change here I think we should just kind of start over and just test it out and see what we get and, and then compare it to the old one I think that's just the best thing to do so for starters I'm gonna show you the result that I get in my hair with the old formula this will be our comparison result for performance this is the usual result that I saw with the old version of ascend and no other additives now though let's see what I get with the new one I'm gonna be using the recommended usage amount which is a dime size amount onto clean hair that's fully worked into the roots I do think that with my longer hair a tiny bit more is needed so I am going to add in a just a, just a little bit more which still does follow the guidelines of the product and then I'll hit it with the heat as usual nothing extra or special I'm not adding in any other product here just so we can see what this provides by itself and this is the result that I get which I do think is something that's quite nice honestly the hold is obviously there I do think it's noticeably higher than the previous formula it's not quite to the level of say original by Bloomon of course that really wouldn't make sense but it's higher than what it was for sure here's a look compared to the old one side by side so you can see for yourself the hold and shape is definitely more defined there the volume is really about the same honestly I think in my hair it kind of looks the same but overall I do think there's a definite difference between the old and new formula just for comparison's sake here too here's a look at what my hair looks like with nothing in it and then again here's the result with the new ascend formula and I won't waste time explaining what the differences are. I think the clips really speak for themselves, but I wanted to give you guys a look at that just for comparison's sake. And compared to the old formula of Ascend, what I see in my hair here is, is really just more. And I've said this before, but it really applies here. I just see more complete more we get more hold we get more control we get more overall effects in the hair I cannot really tell if they purposely had the hold increased or if the trimming of the formula caused the hold to become more dominant you know that actually looks to me like the more likely theory of the two I'm of course no expert formulator or anything like that but I have wandered my way around a few formulas at this point and in looking at the list side by side and even just touching the new stuff it's apparent to me that it's it's more tacky for sure and then the outcome seen you know during the demo I think that really just seals the deal that there is some changes there and it the hold factor was definitely in, increased but that's not even really what I appreciate most about about this what I actually appreciate more most about this update is the fact that they improved this without stepping on the toes of the other products in the line you know a lot of lines actually release products without really considering how they fit into the overall line if you have this for example providing uh, the, the ascend providing a crap ton of hold then you know why would anyone grab original by bloom on for example that really wouldn't make any sort of sense at all so what I have here let me just try to explain this here what I have here is is if we have original by bloom on right here what I think the ascend is is if you take two steps down if that makes any sort of sense so take original take the hold strength and go two steps down I think that's what ascend you know really provides at least in my hair which is enough hold to provide value on its own but it still leaves things open for collaboration with other things in my opinion in my thick bushy hair it really gave a lot of control it gave a lot of foundation I'm gonna throw this 
away because we no longer need it anymore i think that, again this just provided me with a lot of options i can then you know post style with a clay if i want texture a matte finish if i you know want to leave it alone for a lazy day hairstyle i think it really provided a lot of options on its own i also think maybe if you're going with a product you know like monarch for example something like something like that which i've explained a lot in the past doesn't have a lot of uh, endurance in my hair i think this really stretches that out and makes it a lot better as far as criticism goes uh what i would offer here is that the volume wasn't super evident in my hair i know that might be because of how heavy my hair is at the moment so i'm not fully blaming the product here but if i'm being honest too while i think this this does have a great result i think it's going to work for fine haired folks especially to create fuller looks uh, you guys with thin or fine hair would probably have even better results than what i have and i think i have pretty great results with it when it comes down to it i'm personally more so inclined though to choose the original by bloom on or even fifth sample as a pre-styler than the ascend you know and that's not a, a dig on this i am just more inclined to choose something that has more hold like you know the new high hold system that they're showcasing at bloomon.com right now i i've used that system several times and i think for me and my goals i just i just try to go for the maximum amount of hold right from the beginning you know that's just how i like to do it and I will be, if you guys are interested in that, putting that through the paces for you again here in an upcoming video. In the meantime, though, I do think this works really well. The Ascend, I think it works really well, and they made some good, positive changes to this product. But as always, in the end, it's up to you to decide if this appeals to you or not. And if you want to check this out, there will be a link in the description of this video. And you can use my name, Mike, at BlueMind.com to save some money on your next order. But that is it, though for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop me a like. And if you want to see more, including the upcoming giveaway, hint, hint, giveaway, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's, you know, right down there somewhere. Just, just give it a tap. It's just waiting for you to tap on it and join us here on the channel. Thank you very much for doing that. And thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this product with me. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.